So here we are, beginning of the willow propagation paddy. We're standing on the stoop of the porch and I've just desodded this area and dug a little bit deeper, got it mostly level. We'll level it with water once it's full, but you can see from here, we got several different rows of soil piled up. Just made a furrow through each one and that's where we're gonna be planting our Austri hybrid willow stakes on the horizontal. So they're gonna go in here and then ultimately, shoot this from this side so you can see it. The plan is for roof runoff from this half of the house. I'm gonna install a gutter right there and we're gonna combine it with gray water exiting where the kitchen sink is right there. Run a pipe here and basically join that up with the rainwater and be able to flood irrigate this and ultimately a gray water reed bed right here growing vetiver grass and or other um, water purifiers. And we'll exit discharge water from that into the paddy whenever they need to be flooded or just do it continually. And uh, basically the, these little low spots, these canals are gonna stop at this end. They're all linked on this end and then it'll join together and we'll probably discharge, we'll discharge somewhere around down here on this lower sill and continue it into some additional propagation zones down further and potentially even push it over that way across the lawn. So this is step one, it's mostly leveled and planting rows are ready. Next is to lay in the willow stakes and get them watered and covered up. Okay, so we've got all the rows prepped and ready. They've all been watered in, in the furrow. So we got some good water in the soil base. We're gonna water them in after we're done since we still don't have a hose. And then these are the hybrid willow cuttings that are gonna go in. They arrived yesterday via UPS. You can already see they're already aggressively rooting out. A lot of that's developed just in the past 24 hours. So we are ready to get these in the ground. And instead of planting them vertically, we're actually gonna lay them in horizontally. The reasoning for that is that in this case, my goal here is to get as many cuttings as possible. And so this thing is gonna root downward all along the length and then all along the length on the upward side, it's gonna start sending up shoots. So we're going to start laying these in and uh, I'll give you a shot once they're in, but before we cover them up. Okay, all the stakes have been laid in. You can see in each little trench. So now we're just gonna fold that dirt in that's on the sides. Probably give them a little bit more water first. And then we're going to cardboard sheet mulch in between the rows to help limit some of the evapotranspir evapotranspirative loss. And uh, I'll see what I can come up with for mulch. We don't really have a ton here yet, but I might just have to do some emergency chop and drop. So here we are, end of day one. All the willows are now covered up in those furrows. They've been watered in on the top. And then we just did a quick cardboard sheet mulch in the pathways to help limit some of the evapotranspirative loss since this is in a high sun location. Basically that's due south right there. A lot of southern and western sky open. And uh, eventually we'll be plumbing in the gray water and the roof runoff as soon as we get the gutter installed up here at this end so it can flood irrigate the whole paddy and then discharge somewhere down here. We'll install a sill at some point. Next step is to keep building up the sides here with some of the leftover sod. So we're gonna add more, basically elevate the sides probably up to here somewhere. And then same over there, it's, we stopped about there. So we're gonna take it up, build up these corners a little bit further. And then uh, once we get some water into it, we'll do some leveling with the shovel just to get it so it feels nice and even. And we'll keep you updated as to the progress of the willows as they go. Okay, folks, another willow paddy update. Here we are on July 17th now. And I'll just take you over here and check it out. Well, Lincoln's all fired up because, well, he probably just took a dump. So I bet he's really happy. Anyway, uh, last time we talked, all of the bamboo stakes have been painted with Billy's bone sauce. We have had zero herbivorous losses thus far. Uh, Lincoln has, of course, topped the fence a little bit. And the cat, it's a very annoying cat, was just in here before I clicked recording, uh, is also running around in here and causing a little bit of havoc. So we had two stems get kind of busted and broken down, but I think they'll recover. I mean, it's it's willow. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sturdy tree and plant. But yeah, we're definitely having some stuff dug up in here. So I don't like that. I think that just happened too. So next project is I'm going to get some proper, um, got some scrap uh, T-posts that we pulled out of the woods here from just an old junk pile found in the woods. 
and uh, there's some old fencing out there too so i'm going to replace all this get that up i'll still keep the chicken wire in for the rabbits because they could hop through woven wire really easily but at least we'll have a dog and potentially cat proof exclusion around this because they are wrecking havoc a little bit so here we go there's a broken stem i'll see if i can save that one in the propagation system you stay nope see there we go come on out go 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 on go on go on make it come here come here come here well as i was saying dogs in the willows don't work so we got some damage there we'll have to fix but everything's growing really well willows are putting on some good height shooting up like crazy popped in a couple lucanas from seed as well and we've had some really good rain events even though we're just getting half the roof my hope is that i'll be able to get the other half guttered as well and be able to run that up here as well so we'll get all the water from the roof and hopefully be able to actually fill this thing to the brim we haven't had anything remotely close to an overflow event yet but definitely getting good saturation amongst the different um, grow lines for the willow so yes right now the job is not even pest exclusion just pet exclusion so hey billy i don't know if you make bone sauce from cat bones and dog bones but <laughs> maybe we need some of that too all right we'll check back in next time with another update rainy day update on the willow patty Hopefully you can see right there, we've got standing water in between all of the different willow furrows right now. And the water's pumping out of our really janky downspout going through our corrugated pipe in right here. So good news is they're all filling evenly, pretty darn close to being level end to end. Uh, in no danger of overflowing at this moment, but this is only half the catch from the house and with a rather leaky system. So if we can improve that, we might be able to fully charge the system and then overflow it into some other aquatic growing systems. But pretty cool to see all that water just taking care of all those willows and they're loving it. It's a midsummer willow paddy update. We got the new fencing around it. Well, new old, totally repurposed. Just magically turned out to be exactly the right size to fit in here, but we've now got some willows that are basically up to my chest. So, talking four and a half, almost five feet tall at this point. Um, pretty darn good size throughout here. Just goes to show how powerful willow is as a growing force. And you can imagine once you set up fodder blocks or fodder systems with this or some sort of coppice system and you get tons of these young tender stems, there's a lot of food here. Nice anti-hemolymphic browse for sheep goats, cattle, pigs, you name it. Really good stuff. So we'll have lots of stems to come in the spring of 2024. All right, I think this will be the final video for this growing season. This is now October 24th, 2023. Final willow patty update. Things are getting a little bit cooler. And uh, let's look at how much growth we got in this short but abbreviated season that we had here. Open our gate obviously i haven't trimmed the weeds that well but so first off like this is my eyeball height right here and i'm six one so we've got the tips probably almost up to seven feet there so this side is the one that was closest to the water harvesting setup our janky water harvesting setup so it got the most water and it got the most sun this is west over here so much more growth here on this side so more water more sun who would have guessed um willows are happy with that as we walk to the end of the row, you can start to see the height gets much smaller. And then down here, it's like these guys are kind of stunted. So didn't get as much water pushed back here um, throughout the, the rainier season, rainier time of year. But along the front, we had really massive growth. Uh, not surprisingly, like right where the water was coming in. So the better, maybe if I can get more water into it, get the other half of the roof pumping in here, that would help hydrate the whole thing more evenly. But we still did pretty good, and uh, I'm really encouraged by the potential for a hybrid willow in this climate. Um, some other cool stuff, and this is pretty cool, right? This is like all one, this is literally from June, mid-June to October. So that's basically just over four months of growth. You're seeing all of this, boom, seven feet, plus all the extra branches. Other fun stuff. 
we got some Lucana here. So these guys were started from seed. Um, again, this one probably got about four feet tall. Really good lush growth. So I'm loving that idea for Lucana here from seed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see how this does over the winter here. It's a bit on the edge of its survivability being in USDA zone A, zone 7A, excuse me. There's another big Lucana that did really well. So that's when, that one's really, really cool. Really fun to watch. We got more of them down here. So another great livestock fodder tree option, Lucana. All this vegetation is highly palatable for grazing ruminants and the like. Really good for them. Get rid of the pokeweed here. So anyway, I figured I'd film it while we still have a little bit of leaves on there and they're not just bare sticks. But this is what you can do in one season with even marginal growing conditions, marginal soil prep. As long as you get some water and some sun, hybrid willow can pump out a lot of food. And I think if we get to see this thing through the next year, we'll start to see those, um, those basically those basal culms where the shoots are coming out of, they'll be able to pump out even more um, biomass as their roots expand. So not too bad for a short, somewhat truncated growing season. And uh, we'll see how they do over winter and then when they start to take off next spring.